the small caps tumbled into bear market territory even before the Dow. Hello everybody, I'm Angela Miles. As you well know, the small caps are very sensitive to what's going on with the coronavirus outbreak because it's an economic tie to what's happening in the USA. In trading today, we are seeing the Russell bounce back up 2%, trading at 1,145. The put to call ratio is really an orderly flow. This is well within the norm. One call trading for every two puts, but the situation remains fluid. Among some of the largest trades today, and these are interesting, the June calls, 1,175, those are active. The puts in March expiring next week, these are traditional options, very busy at the 1,075 strike. In fact, that is where the bulk of the paper is so far today. Out in August, the out of the money puts active at 1,060. And then way out in December, somebody really playing a head share. December 980 puts are active. Keep in mind that is post-election. Volatility could stay high into the election. Right now, puts are very expensive compared to calls, and that's because traders and investors want to own them for protection. It's better than losing a whole lot of money in their baskets. Keep in mind the FOMC meeting is next week, so checking that straddle. Right now, the market looking for a move in the Russell of 10 and a half percent. I have not seen it that high, so get ready. It's going to be a rocky week ahead. Volatility overall is at high levels here for the Russell. The RVX happens to be pulling back today, down about 5% to 70. The 52 week high is 76.02. There are small caps though, hitting it out of the park. Veer Biotechnology, Veer is way up. That biotech intends to work with Biogen to create a potential coronavirus virus treatments. So the small caps might come to the rescue. I'm Angela Miles. That's your Russell report for today. I'll see you here next week.